Next, I want to talk about self-care. The first thing that we're going to talk about is dry brushing. It would be wonderful if you could get yourself a dry brush and learn how to dry brush daily. It doesn't have to take long and it has a lot of benefits. There's a lot of things you can check on Google about how you can do dry brushing. So feel free to go ahead and do that. There's a couple of different ways that people like to do it. The most basic agreement between everyone is that you start brushing from your feet and work your way up towards your heart until you reach your middle and then start from the top with your fingertips holding your arms out and working your way back down to your torso again toward the heart. When you're brushing use a circular motion and especially at the start use light pressure. So here's a little diagram of a human with, their, with the arrows indicating the direction that you should do your dry brushing. There are quite a few benefits to doing dry brushing actually. It helps to increase the circulation around in your body because you're literally moving around your lymph and your blood and it also provides a gentle exfoliation on your skin. All of this does help overall with just helping your body unload the toxins simply because the skin is a very large organ on the body. A couple of tips for you. Don't use your body brush on your face. If you want to do a brushing for your face, get a special separate brush for that. They are available, but you don't want to have all your body dead skin all over your face that you're trying to keep clean. If you get a brush that has a longer handle, you'll be able to reach your own back. Otherwise, if you want, you can have somebody help brush your back or you can forget about it like I do. If you have any medical conditions, including pregnancy, please consult with your doctor first before you try dry brushing. It may affect your blood pressure or something like that and you just want to be on the safe side as always. Another self-care thing that you might want to treat yourself to, especially in the spring, is a lymphatic massage. Be sure you find a massage therapist who is familiar and trained in this type of massage. It is different than regular types of massage. It involves a very, very light touch and it's very interesting if you've never done it before. It's just something that if you have room in your budget and time to schedule something like this, I think you'd find the benefits of it quite good. When you're having a lymphatic massage done, just be sure that you aren't ill at the time. Music